works, Andrew, yes. and we have pictures of the famous Shoreham cement works, yeah. which are a classic example of somewhere where for 30 years they've been talking about redeveloping the site, building houses, but um, it's a lot easier just to build in farmers' fields, isn't it, than to redevelop develop a site like that. So brown fields are not always the answer, are they? Well, they are a very big part of the answer, actually. I mean, we, we recycle our plastic bags. Why on earth wouldn't we recycle some of the most precious and scarce commodity, which is our land uh, and our lateral landscapes? Um, and we have a system that works uniquely for nobody. Uh, and we have a multiple set of housing crises. It's not just a, a crisis of the number of homes, they're in the, the wrong place, uh, the incentives for developers are wrong, our tax system is wrong. We have a crisis in some areas of over-occupancy where people are living in homes that are too large for their needs today. Uh, perhaps they want to be more sustainable, they want to move back to a town uh, or the centre of a village as, the, as they age, and we've got an ageing society. Um, and, and the system, things like stamp duty, are mitigating against that. So it is right that the government is bringing forward a planning bill. This is a government that is not afraid to grasp some of the nettles uh, that past governments have ducked for generations. Brownfield can be really central to that, uh, but we need to get building, but we need to get building in the right place, and we absolutely need to protect our biodiversity, our special landscapes, and have building on a human and organic scale, not the sort of scale of development that is being proposed all across Sussex, which is inorganic, unsustainable, in the wrong places, reliant solely upon the motor car, not consistent with the government's own ambitions uh, for net zero to reduce carbon emissions. So we need to have a proper look at this. I do welcome the fact there's a planning bill because Rosie and I and others will spend a lot of time debating that and making sure that that does deliver the needs of society as we live today. Uh, and the final point, I'm sorry I'm going on a lot, but I'm very passionate as my constituents know about this issue of development, it's the number one priority for me, is there is a huge role for our great urban areas, our wonderful cities that post pandemic are going to need to be reshaped in terms of how people live, uh, the sort of lifestyles that they have, and how we make them as economically vibrant as they were before. Uh, and that's going to need bringing people back into the centre of those cities that already have the infrastructure that we need and not building on the green, ancient land of, of West Sussex.